I am the creative lady, aka Nappylicious TV. In tonight's video, I'm going to share something with you guys. A couple days ago, I was about to toss out into the recycle bin this empty peach bellini bath and body works gentle foaming hand soap dispenser. And something said, hey, fill me back up with some soap and try to make it foam again. I'm like, girl, what? So we normally have, um, just as a refill, this Mrs. Myers hand soap refill, and this is the basil scent. And we have it in a normal, it's like this, but this is a lotion, but we, it's in a little bottle like this. Filled it up, y'all, with about this much soap, and then the rest was water. And it does foam up, so I'll show you. Uh, and because, you know, we're doing a lot of washing of our hands, and so it does foam up. And you see, this is not a foamy um, soap. So I'm like, okay, so now I wanted to try something different. So I ordered these little dispensers from Amazon, and I got three of them. And so I was like, okay, well, let's see if it's going to work. These are white. Let's give it a try tonight with the uh, new little dispensers. And they came in a three pack from amazon i'll leave them linked down below and they also come with some labels you know so you can say what's in there whether it's hand sanitizer or if it's soap or whatever it is okay so let's try it here tonight so i can't really see how much it is to add but i am going to try it with a different soap okay just to see if it's really going to work and this is some soap that i've had on hand you can't see how much i've used but this is from i think i got this at sprouts a while ago but this is the alafia authentic black soap with shea butter and neem leaf with lavender and lang lang it's a four in one for all skin types it's a body wash a face cleanser hand soap and it's good for shaving and you know i'll leave it linked if i can find it down in my amazon shop as well but i know i got this i believe it's sprout so let's see if we can make this work with um uh, this soap okay and i'm gonna pour about a third of the way with can't really see but it's probably about right here okay and I've got some water. Normally, of course, I'm in the bathroom. But I've got some, some water just laying around. Okay. So, let's fill it up with water. Okay. I don't know. It's about... Whew, I filled it up with water to about here. Okay. Just to give it a little more room to do whatever it might need to do. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Okay. Um, oh. Oh, it's got that little spring action going. The key would be not to fill it up with water all the way because I did experience a little um, spillage and I didn't even fill it all the way to the top. So I would say leave a little room for expansion for the water. Okay, so let's shake it up because I did shake up the one that I tried. Uh, so let's see if this is going to work. A couple of pumps. Oh, I hear something, y'all. Let's see together. Ooh, it's working. It turns it into foaming soap, y'all. Okay, and it's a good rich lather. Look at that. Okay, so y'all might want to get y'all some of these if you've got some whatever kind of soap you've got. Okay, if you got the liquid hand sanitizer. Well, I turned this into, uh, I got foamy hand soap on me, but yeah, I turned this regular soap, you know, multi purpose, into um, foaming hand soap. But I bet this would work with the Dr. Bronner's. Matter of fact, I got some Dr. Bronner's and I think I got one more bottle, so let's give it a go. So hold on, y'all. Let's get back and see if it'll work with the Dr. Bronner's. Be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back and I've got my Dr. Bronner's. This is the 18-in-1 Hemp Lavender Pure Castile Soap. You can purchase anywhere, okay, that sells Castile soaps. And I have another Bath and Body Works empty container and this one was the fresh sparkling snow okay so i have this one this is the 8.75 fluid ounce if it matters so let's go ahead and you can see it happening as we do it so because it's clear so i'm going to fill it up with soap to about maybe bath and so we'll see i'm gonna pour some soap in here and let's see Okay, to about right there. Alrighty, so 
And you know, I believe this soap is concentrated, so you don't have to uh, worry about it being too weak. Once we add the water, uh, we'll see. So now I got a little bit more water here, and we're not gonna fill it all the way to the top, right? So let's go ahead and add. We only got about that much water, so whatever we've got, Okay, that's about where I would like to stop it, okay? So now we're going to put the pump back inside. And there's just something about the magic of these um, foaming soaps. And when I did it the last time, when I made the first one, I shook it up just to get it going, okay? All right, y'all, so let's see if this one is going to work, okay? Ooh, I'm kind of nervous, y'all. Pump action. Okay. Oh, look, we got foaming soap, y'all. And you know, Dr. Bonner's is not necessarily a foaming soap, and there was no residual in the pump. Okay, just to be sure, we'll pump out some more. Okay, see that? We've got foaming soap. Okay, foaming soap. Wasting this good soap, y'all. <laughs> but anything for y'all. Okay. is how I have upcycled this bottle from the Bath and Body Works foaming collection to make new foaming hand soap. I must give you a disclaimer, y'all. Look, this right here, I thought was going to work the other night. And I'm like, oh, I can make another one. I didn't really pay attention, but I did notice that the pumps were different. But I'm like, well, you know, sometimes companies change their branding. But this one is not a foaming hand soap. This is just a regular hand soap. So reading is fundamental. So I had to look to see that it was not foaming. So always, if you want to have the foaming action, make sure that you either order the ones online or if you're upcycling, make sure that it has this type of top and that it says foaming in the actual you know, verbiage on the bottle. But you could probably use some of your you know, recyclable things. Like this is not empty yet, but I, I don't know about you, but I've got plenty of these um, mousse type containers that turn you know foamy once you use them so if you got some of these you might want to try it i mean clean them out of course but give that a try so if you can take the top off not all of them you can take the top off and this is one of those that screws off and you can fill it back up so whatever magic is in between here and there it makes it foam up so, all right y'all i hope this video was helpful for you guys thank you for watching subscribe to my channel smash that notification bell join me on that delicious tv and may your heart be squeaky clean and filled with purple joy bye y'all